See, I thought this whole thing was a big f***ing joke. I did. But, um, it's not. Turns out it's not. You actually are gonna be the next president of the United States. Of America. Uh, I don't believe it. Neither do I. I. I don't know why. Neither do I. I always say to people, I think it's a typo. And that's what I thought. But here we are. And you won. How did you win? How did you win? I won because of the fact that people that are great, great American people have been forgotten. I call them the forgotten man and the forgotten woman. How did you come up with those names for them? They've been forgotten. I don't get it. Okay, you're not even in office yet, and you're already making a damn mess. <laughs> what can we expect when you actually take over the job? My attitude, I want to make good deals for this country. Why are you whining? Let's talk about your daily intelligence briefings, which I understand you're only taking once a week instead of once a day. Is that because you have less intelligence? First of all, these are very good people that are giving me the briefings. I don't have to be told, you know, I'm like a smart person. How do you figure? I don't have to be told the same thing and the same words every single day for the next eight years. <laughs> Could be eight years, but eight years. Oi, God forbid. Toy, toy, toy. Someone give me salt. I don't need that. But I do say, if something should change, let us know. Now, in the meantime, my generals... Listen, enough about your genitals. The real president, Obama, recently ordered a full review of Russia's interference with the election. What is your reaction to this, and have you discussed it with your boyfriend, Vladimir? I don't want anyone hacking us. And I'm not only talking about countries, I'm talking about anyone, period. But if you're going to do that, I think you should not just say Russia, you should say other countries also. Can you name any other countries? Uh... This took quite some time. We'll get back to Donald's answer to this question and many others, such as who has he selected for Secretary of State and what does the cow say? But first, we also went on a road trip with the president-elect to Sephora to get some free makeup samples. We pulled out of Trump Tower in an Uber that I paid for. The streets of Manhattan were blocked off and the crowds watching signaled how happy they were to see their new president. At LaGuardia, we drove right up to Trump Force One. Like his hands, it was much smaller than I thought. Much of his team was there. Chief of Staff, Reince Penis, and Senior Advisor, Steve Banana, National Security Advisor, Mike Flynn, and Ursula the Sea Witch. Now, I know Melania is planning to stay at Trump Tower for the first few months, uh, won't you be lonely in the White House with all those hookers? That's what it's all about, and uh, I'll be working. I won't be lonely at all. What? What? Well, let's talk about the White House. Uh, you haven't even moved into the place yet, and I hear you're already redoing the cabinets. Which, you know, I get it. A girl's home is her castle. But talk to me about um, draining the swamp and some of these appointments you've been naming so far. Some interesting choices? Uh, any second thoughts? No, these are tremendous people. More importantly, I know your inauguration is coming up, and no inauguration is complete without amazing singers. And I understand you're in a bit of a jam, because everyone hates you. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Yes, I will do it. And thank you for asking. It would be my honor, as long as I can use a fake name and wear a mask. Um, oh my God, this is so exciting. I have to call my mom. <laughs> Pretend you're not here, she hates you too. Hey mom, really cool news. 